Hi, welcome to the next edition of Pastors Unplugged. I'm Pastor Suzanne, and I've been thinking a lot in the last week or so about resiliency and what makes us resilient as human beings and particularly as Christians. And thinking about the place that ritual plays, the role that ritual plays, and how for us as Christians, the ritual of Holy Communion has been missing um, because of our, our social distancing and COVID-19 issues. And I was thinking how important that is. And I started to think that it's in some of our rituals and our habits that we uh, enable ourselves to be much more resilient as human beings. And thinking about how we organize our days and set up things. And as you're live streaming, are you creating a kind of sacred space for that live stream as we would as we come into our sanctuaries? And as we begin to think about uh, remote Holy Communion, how do we approach that as sacred space and to contain that ritual in such a way that we are setting it apart from other uh, activities that we do. And I was thinking too about myself, where I want to position my laptop and what do I want near um, that laptop. Um, and maybe uh, candles, and I haven't been doing that, but I've been thinking about lighting candles as I join a worship. Um, recognizing again the importance of ritual, the importance of sacred space. And I think the importance, too, of how we um, set apart our days, how we create our schedules. And as much as we try to keep to a normal schedule, I think that increases our resiliency. And I don't know about you, but I'm just getting tired of social distancing. I'm getting tired of you know, not being able to go out to a restaurant or to see uh, people and to do other kinds of things. So, um, but we still are in red, so we still have to, uh, for the benefit and the good of all community, to be doing the social distancing and the masks. Um, but as that grows on and grows longer and we get more frustrated, I think about how we take care of ourselves and how we stay healthy and how we stay resilient both uh, physically as well as in our faith and how we create that um, ritual. So as we begin to think about this being much more long term than we originally thought, um, I'd encourage you to think about setting up sacred space when you're watching uh, the worship, when you're doing maybe activities um, that are more ritual based. Uh, certainly Holy Communion would be one, worship, but even sometimes maybe your family gatherings. Just make it special, make it different, set it up um, so that there's a sense of uh, not normalcy, because it's not normal, we know that, but to create a sense of it being special. And I think that helps our ability to continue to move forward, to uh, you know maintain our sanity and to take care of our health and our well-being so create that sacred space and have a wonderful day i'll see you soon bye